Keep your dogs out of Lady Bird Lake. That is the warning from the city after two dogs died late last week after going swimming. The city says it can't verify the cause of those deaths, but they found algae in the water that's known to be potentially fatal to dogs. Rebecca Trejo talked with a veterinarian about protecting your pet. Well, the algae is called cyanobacteria and is known as blue-green algae. The city is testing whether it's toxic, but the veterinarian I talked to says take these steps out of precaution. Denise Kavnis cares deeply about her two rescues. I mean, they're my buddies. They're my best friends. She didn't realize there's a warning for blue-green algae in the water at Red Bud Isle. The city says Red Bud is where the algae is especially prevalent, covering up to 40% of the water's surface area. Kavnis says park rangers let her know today after her dogs got in the water. Uh, they were just telling me the symptoms like, you know, salivating at the mouth. Uh, shaking, uh, diarrhea. They suggested that I give them a really good bath. Those symptoms can occur if your dog gets in contact with the algae. If the blue-green algae is producing toxins, um, then they can get very sick. Dr. Angie Whitworth with the Westland Veterinary Clinic says symptoms can also include weakness, difficulty breathing, or even death. And if you think that they've been exposed, I definitely would call your veterinarian and have them seen. Dr. Whitworth says there's really no antidote for it. She says bathe your dog if it got in contact with the algae. The algae can form when there's stagnant water and lack of rain. There is a certain time of year when there's not a lot of rain to push stuff through. The algae can cause rashes and, rashes and irritation to humans, but the city points out swimming in Lady Bird Lake is illegal anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. The city has not said how long this precaution will be in place. Their test results are supposed to come back in a few days. Rebecca Trejo, KB News.